What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Show and Tech. So before jumping into today's video, I just want to take a second to remind you guys to head over to Instagram and Twitter and follow me at Show and Tech. And also always feel free to leave a comment down below. I love answering them. And that's usually where I go to grab my comments for subsequent videos. So as always, I love the engagement and I hope to hear from you guys on those accounts. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into today's video. Today we're looking at another pair of truly wireless earbuds and these ones come in the form of the Soundcore Life P2. Now the Soundcore Life P2 are an interesting pair of earbuds. If you follow Soundcore at all, you know that they have numerous different models that come in at varying different prices and all of which have very, very good reviews in terms of their sound quality. So you might be wondering why it is that they have these ones still available. What is it that they do differently than the other Soundcore devices? And that is what we are here to cover today. Sorry about that truck in the background. So you are able to find the Life P2s in Canada on Amazon for $79.99 and there's currently a $20 coupon so you're able to grab them at $59.99. In the US, they are listed at $59.99 with a $10 coupon. You can get them for as low as $49.99. So they tend to be on sale quite often and if you're in the market for some truly wireless earbuds, I definitely suggest checking out one of these two pairs. So in terms of the look, design and the fit, of the Soundcore Life P2s, you'll notice that these have a very similar silhouette to what we're used to seeing from the Liberty Air 2. So if you've been following the channel for a while, you've definitely seen a couple of reviews and videos that featured the Liberty Air 2s. And so these look very, very similar to that. So they feature, as we said, the same sort of stock design. However, there are some subtle little differences that we'll talk about in just a second. So the first difference that you'll notice between the two is that while they both sport the same stock design, you can definitely tell that the Life P2 has a significantly longer stock than the Liberty Air 2. Not only that, but the P2s are also noticeably lighter than the Liberty Air 2s are. Now, another thing to note about the P2s is that I'm guessing because these are the budget or the cheaper option, they do feature a physical button on the back instead of that touch sensor. And again, I personally prefer the touch button. I tend to have issues with a lot of the sensors that are currently on the earbuds. And in my Liberty Air 2 video, I did say that I preferred not to use the touch controls because they seemed a little bit finicky. So this was a welcome change for me, although this is considered to be the cheaper option. Now, taking a look at the case, the case is pretty slim and noticeably longer than the other cases that we've seen from Soundcore. Um, in looking at it, you can definitely tell that this is the cheaper case out of the full suite of Soundcore personal listening devices. The plastic on it has a very slick feel. Uh, it looks like it's something that's going to hold a lot of scratches. Fingerprints, not so much, but any scratches or dings and dents are definitely going to show up on this. The Liberty cases, have that sort of matte finish so it does hide a lot of those little blemishes and things that you'd see and you'll notice that the branding on the liberties are a little bit smaller as well now in continuing with the case the shape of it doesn't really make it that easy to open with one hand and while that might not be an issue for a lot of us there are definitely people out there who look for that when they are trying to decide on a pair to purchase so i've tried and tried to open these with just one hand and i can't seem to do it without really driving my fingernail under the flap in order to get it open. This is definitely something that you're gonna to wanna to use two hands with. And even when you're using two hands, because that little groove there that you would use to separate the lid from the rest of the case is so small, um, it does definitely make it difficult at times to open up the case. Not only that, but if you've read any reviews on the P2s, there are also people who complain about the difficulty of getting the actual earbuds out of the case as well. I find that it's not too bad, they did leave a little gap at the bottom so that you can kind of fit your thumb under it to fish them out. But overall, just because of how slippery the plastic is on the case and on the buds as well, that does kind of lead to some issues in getting these out. In talking about the fit of the earbuds, I actually found these to be very, very comfortable. I liked how easy these were to slot into my ears, just like the Liberty Air 2s were. You slot them in give them a quick turn and then you are pretty much good to go. So as I said, these are noticeably lighter than the Liberty Air 2s are. They kind of sit in your ears and you'll forget that they're there because of how light they are. So I've done a lot of testing with this device, uh, both at the gym, using it to watch movies, to consume various forms of media. And I can definitely say that I found them to be more so on the comfortable side. So it's very rare that you find earbuds that you put in and can kind of forget about. And these do an excellent job at achieving that. In terms of the features and specifications, 
of the P2s. They feature Bluetooth 5.0 and the Qualcomm aptX codec, as well as AAC, which we've pretty much at this point come to expect from Soundcore. What really blew me away with these is that they're able to achieve seven hours of playback. And when you use the case to charge as well, you get up to 40 hours of total playtime. And not that you'll be needing it very often, but they do feature a USB-C charging port and the ability to quick charge. So you throw them on the charger for a couple of minutes and you're able to achieve hours of playback time. And now another feature that's included in these because of that stock design, you'd expect that these would be great for phone calls. So they do have what's called CVC noise reduction while making phone calls, uses a combination of microphones to improve the overall call quality. And that's something that we'll touch on just a little bit later. Now, one of the other big features that make this appealing more so than the other models is that this is an IPX7 fully waterproof device. So I said I would never be that guy. I would never try to wear earbuds in the shower because I just didn't see the point. But because I found out that these are fully waterproof, I wanted to give it a go and see, and I can say with certainty that these will work just fine in the shower and continue to work once you get out of the shower. Now, with that being said, when you wear these in the shower, because things get a little slick, you're definitely gonna wanna make sure that you have the right fit before you get into the shower, and Soundcore makes it very easy to do that by including a number of different size tips in the box. So you have a range of five different size ear tips to ensure that you get the perfect fit. Now, before I forget, one really cool feature that I didn't know that I even needed is the ability to take the earbuds out of the case and then pair them to two separate devices. So you're actually able to pair this one to let's say my wife's phone and this one to my own when we're traveling. She can listen to her music, make phone calls, etc., while I'm listening or watching something completely different. So it's a very low key feature to have, one that you probably wouldn't use that much, but the fact that it's there is fantastic. So as an example, while traveling to Mexico this past summer with my wife, she completely forgot her headphones and I had to lend her one of mine so she could watch the movie that I was watching since she couldn't listen to her own music. So just think how great it would be if I could have just given her one earbud, she can continue while using that one, and then I can do whatever it is that I wanted to do on my phone during the flight. So a really underrated feature and something that I hope to see in a lot of the earbuds that are coming out in 2020. So moving on to the controls. As we said, the P2s feature a physical touch button in order to manipulate the music or the media that you're playing back. Um, so as much as I said that I like physical buttons, I need to specify and say that I like physical buttons that are sensitive and responsive. These ones, while they do respond to touch, I find that they have too far of a distance to travel in order to input your commands. Not only that, but the amount of force that's required to actually input those commands makes it very uncomfortable as you're pushing this deep into your eardrum. So we've talked about that before. I just found that out of all the earbuds that I've used that have physical buttons, this was the one that required me to push the unit into my ear canal the deepest. So keep that in mind if you're someone that is looking to grab a pair of these. If you're like me, you're probably gonna end up just pulling your phone out and using that in order to manipulate your tracks more so than using the physical button. In addition to that, there's no ability yet to customize the button presses. So all the presets or defaults that are already set up on this is what you're gonna have to get used to when you're using the P2. So no customizability in that sense, which might be frustrating to some people. So moving on to the sound, I'm gonna say that these definitely do sound good, especially for the price that you are paying. My main issue with the sound currently is that there's no ability to connect the P2s to the existing Soundcore app. So I'm not sure what really led to that decision of only supporting certain devices and leaving this one out, but that means that you are not able to make use of the great things like Hear ID or all those custom preset settings that were already in the app. You kind of have to get used to whatever the sound signature is out of the box. So that's really something that I wish they would have improved or considered was to just let this exist in the same ecosystem, give people the ability to customize their EQs in the app the way that they like it, the way that they're used to hearing on other devices. But in terms of using these to stream on YouTube and Netflix, there's little to no latency, so I didn't see any delays when using it. It was very comfortable and very fun to use these while streaming media, but they do still struggle when playing video games, which seems to be the case with almost any earbuds that you buy. They have that delay when playing games for whatever reason. So if you're gonna use it for everything but that, then these are fantastic. And then finally, moving on to the call quality. So I said before that we would touch on the CVC a little bit more. So the CVC noise reduction uses the four mics on the earbuds to cancel out the surrounding noise and really project your voice to the front of the call. So the person that's on the other end shouldn't hear any of that background stuff if you're at a crowded coffee shop or walking near a busy road. It should only pick up your voice. 
Now, my issue with that is I find that the microphones tend to actually cancel out some frequencies of your voice. So while you're talking, let's say you're, you were saying a longer sentence than usual, then you'll notice that a lot of those words or some of those words end up getting cut out just based on that CBC technology. So these are great for when being used in a quiet to moderately loud environment. But once you get into one with a lot of chatter and a lot of different sounds in the background, then your voice does tend to sound a little bit choppy. And so that's pretty much it. Overall, these are a good device. I like the price. I understand why they made these. These are definitely geared towards the type of person that you know just wants a set of earbuds that work. They're not so much worried about customizability, having the perfect sound, et cetera. They just want buds that they can take out. They're gonna connect. They're gonna work every time. They can throw them around a little bit. Don't have to worry if they get wet or fall on the ground. They're just gonna work. So these are a nice, cheap, rugged option that still sounds pretty good and checks off all the boxes in terms of what you want your truly wireless earbuds to do. Me personally, I would still shell out that little bit of extra cash to upgrade to those Liberty Air 2s just to get those few extra features. But as we said, that's really not for everybody. And so these definitely hit home and do a good job at directing themselves towards a very specific market. And so that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. There were a lot of people that were asking me to do a review on the P2s. So I wanted to get that out there for you guys. If this information was helpful to you in any way, leave a thumbs up, hit that subscribe, us small channels. As I always say, we need love too. Leaving you guys with much love as always, throwing up two of them, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.